New warning tonight for parents as the FBI reports an increase in online gaming sextortion cases. The CBS 13 investigator Julie Watts is digging deeper into this troubling trend for us tonight. Yeah, you know, there are more than 200 million online video gamers, and more than a quarter of them, they're under 18. According to FBI data, those kids are now increasingly becoming targets of sextortion. Online gaming has become a form of socialization for many teens, playing alone in a room while talking and interacting with friends and strangers across the globe. But there's often no way to know if those strangers really are who they say they are, and the FBI warns that's leading to a troubling new trend. Sextortion is really any time you have an adult who's contacting a minor on some kind of social media where they are enticing them to give compromising pictures. The FBI issued a recent warning after seeing an uptick in sextortion on online gaming sites. They received more than 5,000 reports of sextortion since 2015. In September, a multi-agency undercover investigation dubbed Operation Open House led to the arrest of 24 people for allegedly using Fortnite and Minecraft to lure and groom minors for sex. Just a few weeks ago, this man pled guilty in federal court, accused of convincing a 12-year-old gaming partner to send sexually explicit photos. The FBI says his method was textbook online gaming sextortion. They'll pretend to be uh, a person of the same age and they'll befriend them and try to win their trust. Sometimes you'll see them offering uh, gifts or incentives to provide pictures. He says they've seen targets as young as seven years old. And once the first picture is sent, they use it to extort more graphically explicit images. With the threat of, I'm going to expose you for this one photo if you don't provide more. And then it can progress to acting out things on themselves or on younger siblings or even on family pets. Um, we've seen a real downward spiral of, of, of that kind of behavior. Now, all the major gaming platforms do have password protections and parental controls. The FBI says it is critical to set those up and have a gaming talk with your child. Knowing the dangers that are out there could really make a difference. Now, the FBI warns parents need to be familiar with the apps and games their kids are using and have access and monitor those accounts. They also say you need to make sure your kids are not sharing any personal information like the name of their school or where they live. Bottom line, awareness is yeah. key. I was yeah. just talking about this with some moms at school. This is the new form of socialization. Mm -hmm. All the yeah. kids are doing it. What are you playing? What are you seeing? And leave your door open, by the way. Yes. Right. Exactly. Do it in the living room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.